Hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering unboxing. So this weekend saw the release of Hour of Devastation. So we're going to croak open this bundle and see what's inside it. And see what sort of pulls we get inside the booster. Boosters. So Hour of Devastation is the uh, second set in the uh, Amonkhet block. It's the smaller of the two. I don't think the uh, the contents has actually changed that much since uh, the last when we, we opened Amonkhet, but uh, let's have a look anyway and just check. So we got a player's guide with the encyclopedia, uh, the card box, which is essentially this bit here, a 10 hour of devastation booster packs, 25 double-sided tokens. Oh yeah, there's a lot of tokens in this set because of uh, the mechanics that are involved and, and they generate tokens. Uh, 80 card basic land pack includes at least 25 full art basic lands, a spin down knife counter and a magic quick reference card. Uh, the other things in here is this spacer box which is now on the outside. Um, and um, It's basically just a cardboard box um, and I think I mentioned before I, I use this to keep, keep dice in. So there's another one to add to my collection. Uh, as I've pointed out before, um, if you're not aware of this, if you're very careful with this and um, open up down this side, I think. Yep. Um, not too badly stuck. Here we go. That's coming up quite well. There you go. Okay. So this becomes a, a sort of long form poster. It's rather, rather large to see on the uh, on the camera the way it's set up, but I think you get a get the idea there. We got a long, long form nickel bolus. <coughs> so inside of inside of here. Here's our token pack. And ten boosters and our land pack. Our sort of how to play well quick reference guide. And uh, our spin down counter. If we can see that. with the Hour of Devastation uh, set symbol on it. Okay, let's just set that one to one side. Now the other thing, uh, and you know, some of the nice things, that I always like these little touches. So what they've done now is this is split up. Um, and I must admit, this is quite handy if you don't open an awful lot of magic uh, magic cards in a set. You can then just adjust this and use it like a slider. And that's just a real, you know, just a, a nice just little feature there. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the uh, encyclopedia. So they're going to, in here, they describe the mechanics in the set. So we've got to Eternalize, Afflict, the, uh, the Deserts, and then the Top 10 coolest cards, Nicol Bolas, God of Pharaoh, Hour of Devastation, Summit the Tested, uh, Razaketh the Foul-Blooded, the Scarab God, Adorned Pouncer, Bontu's Last Reckoning, Sheep Dunes, Ramin Up Excavator and Supreme Will. A bit of backstory about Amonkhet, Nicol Bolas, and then Hour of Revelation, Hour of Glory, so these hours. Some of the tested, and then our card encyclopedia. And as you may have noticed, um, 
as indicated in the back of the pack um, on this bundle you can see there's uh, full art land in here. I think it must be, I wonder if it's one of each manner by the look of things. One, one piece of each artwork. Okay, well let's, let's open that up first. So what we'll see in here, we'll have some full art land and then the rest will be like regular, regular art land. Zoom this in. Okay. There's a planes. So it looks like they're interspersing this with the the regular art. So let's do this then. There's our full art island. Full art swamp. Full Art Mountain, Forest, yeah so it looks like there's only one piece of Full Art, uh, full art land for each of the uh, Colours of manner. Separate this out. too sure why they've chosen to to do it this way I don't remember it being like this in the previous set I think it was all together but all our land this is all the full art stuff we've got and as you can see it is the same artwork for each color and obviously you get different artwork between the different colors of mana okay so those are our full art lands so we'll look at the tokens I think these will probably be double-sided that's what they've been tending to do because <clears throat> there's just so many token generators in the set a zombie and an insect zombie and an insect zombie snake zombie and a horse zombie and a sun scourge champion zombie and a steadfast sentinel zombie and a sinuous striker zombie and a resilient kenra Zombie and a proven combatant, zombie and an earthshaker, Kenra, a warrior and a dream stealer, warrior and a champion of wits, warrior and a adorned pouncer, a warrior and insect, warrior and a snake, warrior and a horse, a cat and a sun scourge champion, cat and a steadfast sentinel cat and a sinuous striker cat and a resilient kenra cat and a proven combatant the cat and a earthshaker kenra an insect and a dream stealer insect and champion of wits and a horse and an adorned pouncer okay so now on to the bit we've all been waiting for the cracking of the packs so let's see what we can get. I must admit, I've not, again, 
because I, you know, whenever I open these um, bundles, as they now call it, it's like the first time I've really looked at the cards properly. So I actually have no idea what these are, are worth value wise. Even in of enduring hope. So we'll start with our commons, obviously. Firebrand Archer. A solitary Camel. So there's a, a, a desert relevant um, ability on here. Solitary Camel has lifelink as long as you control a desert or there is a desert card in your graveyard. Rona's Stalwart. This has got Exert on it. You may Exert Rona's Stalwart as it attacks. When you do it gets plus one plus one until end of turn and can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less this turn. An exerted creature won't untap during the, your next untap step. There's a lurching rock beast which has cycling on it. A Ketra's Avenger, another card with exert. Gift of Strength. Crash through. Strategic planning. Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs. Bloodwater entity so this is uh moving on to our uncommons now june diviner dagger of the worthy and our rare is majestic myrach i think that is uh four and a green star star creature chimera that might even be a mythic it's difficult to tell because the artwork's so thin i think they that is a mythic. Uh, majestic Mayarch's power and toughness are each equal to twice the number of creatures you control. At the beginning of each combat, if you control a creature with flying, Majestic Mayarch gains flying until end of turn. The same is true for First Strike, Double Strike, Death Touch, Haste, Hexproof, Indestructible, Lifelink, Menace, Reach, Trample and Vigilance. And we've got a Full Art Mountain and a Warrior Token. I should be able to tell when I look at the next rare exactly if that was a mythic. I think it was. Open fire. Countervailing winds. Another card with cycling on it. Sandblast. Kenra Eternal with a flick. So with a flick, whenever this creature becomes blocked, defending player loses. In this case, it's a flick one, so it's one life. Uh, Harrier Naga. Desert of the Mindful. Oh, Ma yeah, Manolith has been reprinted in this. That's with uh, with new artwork. So three colourless tap, add one mana of any colour to your mana pool. Thorned Moloch. It's got prowess on it. Uh, without Weakness. Cunning Survivor. Hashep Oasis. Rune up, rune up your ruins. Rune up ruins. Looks like that's a cycle. Ominous Sphinx. So moving on to our uncommons. Resilient Kenra is our rare. Yep, so the other one definitely was a mythic looking at this. One and a red. Uh, creature Jackal Wizard. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Did I say one and a red? I meant one and a green. <laughs> um... Yeah, creature jack, jackal wizard. When resilient Kenra enters the battlefield, you may have target creature get plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is re resilient Kenra's power. Eternalize four and two green. Four and two green, exile this card from your graveyard, create a zombie, sorry, create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a four four black zombie jackal wizard with no mana cost. Eternalize only as a sorcery. So clearly that's where some of our tokens are coming from. We've got a swamp and a horse token. I've also uh, got hold of the Planeswalker decks for this set as well, so I'll be unboxing those at some point. Spellweaver Eternal. It's got prowess on it. Dauntless Avon. Firebrand Archer. Lethal Sting. Oasis Ritualist, Wall of 
Forgotten Pharaohs, which we saw earlier, Desert of the Glorified, Scrounger of Souls, Defiant Kenra, Jeru's Renunciation, that may be, Steward of Solidarity, Imaginary Threats, so we've moved on to our Commons, Unraveling Mummy, and our rare is Angel of Condemnation, two, two white, Creature Angel, it's a three, three with Flying and Vigilance, two and a white tap, Exile another target creature, return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step, two and a white tap, Exert Angel of Condemnation, Exile another target creature, until Exile of Condemnation, Exert Angel of Condemnation. Exile another target creature until Angel of Condemnation leaves the battlefield. An exerted creature won't untap during your next untap step. An island and a sinuous striker token. Even of Enduring Hope, Blur of the Blades, Aerial Guide, Rampaging Hippo, Moaning Wall, Another Manolith, Thorned Moloch, Without Weakness, Cunning Survivor, Desert of the Mindful, moving on to our commons, Doomful, Resolute Survivors, Unraveling Mummy and Hour of Eternity XX3 Blue Sorcery Exile X Target Creature Cards from your graveyard. For each card exiled this way, create a token that's a copy of that card, except it's a 4 4 black zombie. It's a swamp and one of these sort of punch out uh, cards. So it, they act as sort of reminder tokens for exerted and internal and also brick tokens and minus one, minus one. Uh, counters. I think it's useful that uh, wizards are starting to put stuff like that in these packs actually. It make, makes sense if they can do something like that. Proven Combatant. Mummy Paramount. Frontline Devastator. Tragic Lesson. I don't know if we looked at a flick yet yeah, actually. So the frontline devastator has a flick two on it. Whenever this creature becomes blocked, the defending player loses two life. I'm thinking about it here. We saw one with, I think it was a flicked one. Uh, Harry and Naga, Wretched Camel, Feral Prowler, Desert of the Indomitable, Dom no, Desert of the Indomitable, Graven Abomination, Striped River Winder. Hexproof on it, Manticore Eternal. So moving on to our own commons, Vizier of the Truth, Vizier of the Anointed, and our rare is Imminent Doom, two and a red enchantment. Imminent Doom enters the battlefield with a Doom counter on it. Whenever you cast a spell with converted mana cost equal to the number of Doom counters on Imminent Doom, Imminent Doom deals that much damage to target, creature, or player, then put a Doom counter on Imminent Doom. It's a planes and a zombie. Avon of Enduring Hope, Firebrand Archer, Solitary Camel, Disposal Mummy, Marauding Bone Slasher. <coughs> Oasis Ritualist, Life Goes On, Tit uh, crikey, that's, uh, Gran Granitic Titan, I think that is, got, yeah, Granitic Titan, has got Menace on it, Seer of the Last Tomorrow, Desert of the Fervent, Ip New River Rivulet, so our uncommas now, If Near Deadlands, Vile Manifestation, and in our rare slot we have Swarm Intelligence. 
6 and a blue enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. A forest and a resilient Ken Kenra token. So we've got four packs to go. We really had our mythic. No foil yet though, interestingly enough. Frontline Devastator. Unquenchable Thirst. Mummy Paramount. Kindled Fury. Moaning Wall. Rana's Stuart. Granitic Titan. Desert of the Fervent. Seer of the Last Tomorrow. Sunset Pyramid is our first uncommon. We've got another Doomfall. A Sand Strangler. And our rare is Abandoned Sarcophagus. So it's three uh, artifacts. You may cast non-land cards with cycling from your graveyard. If a card with cycling would be put into your graveyard from anywhere and it wasn't cycled, exile it instead. There's our foil. It's a common. It's Harry and Naga, which is a two and a green vanilla 3-3. Three, three. Uh, full Art Island and a cat. So we seem to be getting quite a few um, Full Art lands in these. I don't. I have no idea what the proportions of Full Art lands are in the in the packs. So another tragic lesson. Act of heroism. Puncturing blow. Proven Combatant, Rhoannus is Stuart, Grizzly Survivor, Desert of the True, Life Goes On, Granitic Titan again, Seer of the Last Tomorrow, and one of these sort of double cards here, Farm, Destroy Target, Attacking or Blocking Creature, and then the bit with the aftermath on it, which is mark it, two and a blue, cast this spell from your graveyard, then exile it. Draw two cards, then discard two cards. Quarry Beetle, Tune Diviner, and then this is our yep, yeah, this is our rare, so leave. It's two and a white instant, return any number of target permanents you own to your hand, and chance. Is a three and a red sorcery with aftermath. Cast this spell from your graveyard, then exile it. Discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards. The so mountain and another one of those sort of punch out cards. Two more boosters to go. Unquenchable thirst. Dutiful servants. Kenra scrapper. Oasis Ritualist, Kenra Eternal, another Manolith, that's our third one I think, Thorn Moloch, Without Weakness, Cunning Survivor, Desert of the Mindful, Nissa's Defeat, so we're moving on to our uncommons, Dunes of the Dead, Struggle and Survive, Struggle or Survive I suppose that is, and our rare is Hour of Revelation. Three and three white sorcery. Hour of Revelation costs three less to cast if there are ten or more non-land permanents on the battlefield. Destroy all non-land permanents. A swamp and a warrior token. So we're definitely getting a nice selection here um, from the set. And our last pack here. We've had our one mythic, we've had our one foil. Let's see what's in the last pack. Mummy of Paramount. Frontline Devastator. Tragic Lesson. Carrion Screecher. Sidewinder Naga. Or Sidewinder Naga, I should, I should say, I suppose. Um, Scrounger of Souls. Defiant Kenra. Juru's Renunciation, unsummons in the set, 
Sinuous Striker, Eternal of Harsh Truths, and a oh no, only two so far. Claim and Claim to Fame is our other uncommon. Our rare is Ramun Ramunap Hydra. Three in a green, creature snake hydra, vigilance, reach and trample. Ramunap Hydra gets plus one plus one as long as you control a desert. Ramunap Hydra gets plus one plus one as long as there is a desert card in your graveyard. Oh cool, so we've got a foil in this one as well. So our second foil is Champion of Wits. So it's, yeah, it is a rare. So it's a nice, nice foil rare there. Two and a white cre creature, Naga Wizard. When Champion of Wits enters the battlefield, you may draw cards equal to its power. If you do, discard two cards. And it has uh, internalized five and two blue. So five and two blue, exile this card from a graveyard, create a token. That's a copy of it, except it's a four four black zombie Naga Wizard with no mana cost. Eternalize only as a sorcery. So that's actually pretty, maybe you can see how good that's coming out of the camera. It's pretty nice foiling on that one. Uh, full Art Planes and a Sun Scourge Champion. So there we have it. That's uh, my pulls for the uh, Hour of Devastation bundle. Uh, we've got, uh, as I pointed out, there's a selection of, well, <laughs> one each of the, uh, or two each of the, uh, to each hang on one, two, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, twenty. I think they said at least twenty-five. I think, and you might get slightly more. So that's going to be um, three of each, at least three of each of uh, of the uh, land types in there. Hang on, is what am I doing here? More than that. What am I saying? No, hang on, 25. What, what, no. Talking rubbish. Five. Yeah, five of each. But excuse me, it's the end end of the end of the day today and uh, my concentration isn't brilliant. So yeah, f at least five of each of those, uh, of each of the land types in there. We had our token pack. Our, also the remainder of the these were regular art land. And then our, our 10 boosters. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.